Hi ladies, Kat here. Um, I'm with Your Style Adventure and I wanted to um, do just a quick video on how I personally do style boxes because I know that there's been a lot of questions lately. Now, let me preface by saying there's no right or wrong way to do style boxes. This is what I have found that works really, really well in my particular group. Um, there are other ladies on the Adorable Hustler team that do it a little bit differently and they have great success as well. So if you're looking at doing style boxes, I would highly suggest taking a look at a couple of different girls that do them um, and find one way that kind of works with your style and who you are and who your customer is. Um, and then build from there. So. Before I get started on how I do it, I'm gonna kind of explain how my shop is set up because it helps me um, when I start to build my style boxes. So if we take a look at my shop, I have everything on one wall, right? And I do a lot of vendor events and in-home events, so I definitely have every single item that I can out on the shelf. And then over on this side, you'll see that I have a rack that's not um, with, I mean, it's kind of off on its own. So this rack right here is all my single tin items. Um, singleton items are when I get down to just a single item, a single print or a single style, um, I will pull them aside and I'll put them onto that rack. And I do that because personally it helps me remember that they're actually in my inventory. Sometimes when there's a single item um, in the mix of all of your runs, you can get them lost and you forget that they're there. So I pull mine aside so that I can have the visual that they are there and um, that they could really work in style boxes. Um, and I've actually been starting out all of my lives with my singleton items lately. So, um, and it comes into factor when I start to build my, my boxes. So what I do is when I um, introduced my style boxes, I let my girls know that there is a Google Doc on my website that they can go and fill out. Google Doc has some directions, it has some information about um, the style boxes and exactly the process that takes place. So basically they submit their information and I take about a week to um, create and come up with different boxes for them. They typically get three to four different boxes um, within a certain price range, okay? So when my girls go through and they're filling out their Google Doc, they'll tell me what their price range is. Most of my style boxes are in this range right here, depending on um, what I'm creating. And then it will go through and it will ask them, is there any must have item that I have in shop right now? So um, in the past, I've had girls say, I really want jeggings in my box, or I really want a callow in my box. So I try really hard to incorporate those into the style boxes. But the girl, they also have the opportunity to tell me what they don't want in the boxes, because some people are not skirt people. I'm a skirt person, so I'd be all over that, but other people aren't. So it gives me a better idea of what we're looking for in the box. And then this question, um, any colors that they don't want to be included, um, and that again helps me kind of tailor the box to my specific customer. And then do they like form fitting clothes? Because some of ours can be form fitting. And then I also have one other question that asks them if it's for a special occasion or if it's for work, if it's casual. Um, so again, I'm just trying to get out as much information for my customer as possible before starting to create the style box. And then what I do is I actually print every single one of them, okay? This is one that just came in. And I do that because I don't have my computer in this room. So to go back and forth, if I'm forgetting what's going on, I just print out a single form. And then up in the corner, I write down my customer's name, my customer's email address. Obviously I have those blocked out for now. And then what size they are. So that when I'm in my Agnes and Dora room, I can keep coming back to this sheet of paper. The very first thing that I do when I start creating style boxes is I start to grab things that match that go together really, really nicely. I'm not even worried about the um, payment. I'm not worried about how big they want their box or how little they want their box. I just need a starting point. So I'll start to grab and collect items that go together. Typically, I will try and grab one thing from the singleton rack, and then I'll try and grab other things from here. I also don't limit myself by not including brand new items. Um, some girls don't include brand new items and that's fine. I don't because I typically keep a pretty small inventory. Um, I'm around 400 pieces and about 100 of that is leggings at the moment. So I'm, you know, my inventory isn't very big. So I do include new items. Um, I do include older items. I am more worried if the, the box works together and is cohesive. So once I have three to four boxes, I actually hang them on one of my door frames. Um, and then I start to take a look and at that time I start to add or remove products so I can get it within the, the 
projected budget range. So for this one, it was between $100 to $199. So this is one of the options, and this would have a pair of jeggings with it. So a high-low with a ruffle and then with a duster. And then, and then the jeggings, right? So this particular combination with a pair of net jeggings, or knit jeggings, wow, would be $182. Um, and then shipping for all of my boxes um, depends on how big the box is, right? So that would be a single box. And then after I've come up with their box, I photograph it. And I take two to three pictures of all of the items together. I don't do single photos of how to wear the items. Um, so I do a single photo with all items. So like in that photo, it would have the three shirts and then the pair of jeggings. And then underneath the photo, I actually put down how they could wear the outfits or how they could interchange them and intermingle them. So like for this particular one, right, they could wear the ruffle tunic with the jeggings with the duster or they could just do the ruffle tunic with the jeggings, or they could do the ruffle as a dress by itself. They could do the ruffle as a dress with the duster. And then you do the same thing with the high-low tee. So they could wear it alone with the jeggings, or you could wear it with the duster with the jeggings. Um, and I typically put in there that all of the outfits would actually look really good with just jeans in general, because how many of us have jeans in our closet? And it's nice for my customers, and they've really expressed um, their gratitude that I, I put pieces together that can co-mingle and that can be utilized in more than one way. Um, and it just, it makes the wardrobe and the capsule last longer, right? It makes them so that they have more options. And my customers have really, really liked that. But like I said, I typically give my customers three to four options when it comes to style boxes. And then what happens is that once I have all the boxes together, I'll send an email with all the photographs and my customers will have one week to decide on if they want one box, two boxes, if they don't want any boxes, and they just have to let me know. Now, if they choose a single box, so say they choose the box that has the ruffle and the high-low and the duster, that still means that I have three boxes available that are still very good boxes. Um, so at that point, I put them up to my group, and I, I say, I you know, just created these four style boxes for a customer. They've already chosen their one and it's a phenomenal box, but we have these available. And so what that does is it shows my group and gives my group more opportunities to see how items can work together. Um, and it doesn't mean at that point that they have to buy the entire style box either. They can buy one or two pieces out of the style box instead of the entire style box. So like I said, there's really no right or wrong way to do a style box. Um, you kind of just got to jump in, but I would suggest taking a look at, at different ways that people are doing them. Um, I know that some girls do something more similar to um, like a box a month where they the girls can get a box of goodies, they choose the ones that they want, and then they send back items. Um, that is just too much for me um, with what I have to do in my non-Agnes and Dora life. Um, I do know girls that just make one style box. So they say, this is, you know, this is what the box is. So really you gotta find what works for you and works for your customers. So if you have any questions, you can always get a hold of me. I'm Kat, again, with Your Style Adventure. And my website is www.yourstyleadventure.com and I do have my contact information on there. So I hope you have an awesome night and I hope that you start in on your adventure of style boxes.